Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blades. And today, we're going to be going over to patch notes, getting in a little bit of story, and summoning. And, first things first, I want to talk a little bit about ROB. This has actually been like a really, really good event. Even though they don't really show you the drops of what it gives, it's pretty much just gems at random that have a chance of being... Uh, let me get inside my uh, backpack right quick. Pretty much have a chance of giving these gems. And these gems are like really damn good. Uh, thanks to ROV, I've been able to get a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so every time ROV comes in, guys, make sure to do them. They're crucial. Like, you may think they're not, but they're actually extremely helpful. Let me just go ahead and swap, swap that out, you know? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, definitely useful. Would recommend always farming these. Kind of want to do something here. What if I was to take out this and just mix this together instead? There we go. That's the highest one. His score compared to the other ones is way higher. So you definitely want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and give that to my encanter. Actually, I should have just put it over here instead. That would have made more sense. Instead of doing that, just put that back in. Just for survivability. I can change that anytime. But yeah, let's go into the news and see what the patch notes have for us tonight. Alright, tonight's patches. Oh yeah, we're getting a training field system. To where I guess you can practice. Inside of various different modes inside the game. So I'm guessing mostly just boss raids. You can just, you know, train, see what teams actually do what. This is actually going to help us with the tier list majorly once this comes, actually. Now I think about it. Wait a minute. Can you put your own team in here? If that's... Oh my god. Hold on. This is literally putting in any character that sh you also don't own into there. That's going to be really good for the tier list. But also, it would have to be gear wise too. But I. Eh, I, I guess it could be fun without gear. Alright, we've got a new login rewards. It's a 1 mil. Oh, it's the um, login time. Of rewards okay so it changed to 200 shoes 200 tickets then eh, 20 million go pretty decent considering that we use way more than that just to enhance one character but also an increase in transcended essence this probably the major and best one going up to the triple s and some burning capsules are still pretty much the same Russian Roulette Will is coming back. Nice. Oh, hold on. I didn't notice that. We get alternate summons from this. Dude. Oh, yeah. You de you guys better definitely do this every single day. Because those alternate cards are going to be really nice. And uh, Daily Dungeons are getting a discount. RLB is going away. Transcended Pigs are going away feels bad ah uh, we're gonna miss it well I'm gonna miss it at least and that's pretty much all the updates let's get into the summons before we actually go into story and if you got unfortunately some of you guys have probably missed um what was it secret shop secret shop had um some infinity summons for like 5,400 rubies? Yeah. Which would have been nice if I would have got to it again if I 
had that much, but I didn't. But yeah, some of you guys missed that, unfortunately. I was able to get three. Well, actually, the max you could get was three anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying I would have got more. <laughs> Alright, nothing, nothing, game, fight me right now, thank you, at least one thing, I'll even take a transcendent, why not, as long as it's just not a full freaking soul summon, we've had plenty of those already, by the way, the background music that you're hearing right now, it's actually not part of the game, <laughs> This is the void copyright, basically, and a full fucking summon. What was the point of me buying those? If you're just gonna give me a full soul summon. Man, my luck has disappeared as of late. Oh, Helios. Ultimate. Siegfried, I already have him done. And sadly, nothing else. Feels bad. Last summon. What will we get? Foxy. At this point, I'm basically just saving up resources with these cards that we're getting. Gala. And so. Feels bad. No, tr no affinity. But I did finish something. Oh, hold up. Ah, oh, I finished um, Angels. Okay, so... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, not, not all that bad of a summon. Especially since I finished like some uh, Passion or Possession buffs. I don't know why I keep saying Passion every time. Possession buffs, hold on. It's all the way at the bottom. I know one of these are probably not finished because it's yeah okay yeah I I knew it wasn't finished it was that the one I have no idea no these were the one I got Gala then I gave me Max so I got this. Well, I guess that was the one then. Free Storm. Okay, yeah. So Gala, I didn't have like anything in at all. She wasn't even max or anything. She was just still based for this. So getting Gala actually helped me get those buffs. Noted. Noted, noted, noted. I mean, on the bright side. I did just get my um, Arch Overlord ticket. For those of you guys who have been questioning if you get like transcended characters Overlord in this ticket, no you don't. You only get base Overlords out of this. Okay, what do I need? Those are done. She's not done, so I could do that. Don't have those two done. Huh. Think, think, think. What are we going to do here? Those two I still got to make. But we're going to try and cap out the things I already have right now. So I, and I can actually put stuff into and already finish her. Since I already still have the card for... So don't need to put that in. I always I already still have clay, but I don't have Chris done. I don't have Chris at all. But then again, I could pick one of these two. Since Chris already has like ultimate. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, nice. We at least got that buff. 
So yeah, now my table's fully done. My attendance. I got two more days into my free infinity cards. And I'll let you guys know what it will be. So now for Clay, if I really wanted to get the buff right now, I have a whole bunch of transcendence that would actually help for that. Not transcendence that I don't need. Actually, take that back. There are characters that we're going to keep and characters that we're not going to keep. Okay, we can keep that since that's a duplicate. That's basically a duplicate too. So is it just like one more, or is it, or was it two? Okay, so it was just like one more. Noted. I don't even think I'm going to use her, to be honest. I think you're already done. I normally always do this just to plan out like everything ahead. So next one I will try and get Christopher and get him Darch. You guys are probably thinking that this is not the best way to do this, but it it pretty much is, especially if you want to get all of your buffs. Because when you're in the arena and you're thinking, oh you're gonna beat this team because it looks weaker than yours is definitely not the case because a lot of characters probably because that person probably has a lot more buffs than you like a lot more possession buffs if anything so you could be getting fooled there percent yeah words possession buffs are definitely extremely helpful how much would it even take to get out oh. I was about to say, do I have any archers that I want to actually build into later? Well, Raph isn't going to come for a while. She she pretty much has a pretty stretched length before she even comes out of the batch. I think it's Sloth and... Um... Damn, I can't remember. I know she just doesn't come like in the first batch, right? I'm going to check that later. But for now, I'm going to save off on that. Alright, let's go. Continue the story and actually finish it off. Because we only got like three more stages. I am curious of what happens next. Considering Death Crown just came in and just started destroying everything. Yes, I'm still using Overlord Mercedes. Don't at me. One of these days I will get another affinity card for her. <laughs> Yo, this map actually looks really nice. to the Fire Nation attack, basically.
Oh, okay. Well, obviously he's gonna go after him. He needs the other piece of the crown. Let me guess. First crown? Dude, I just want to hear the voice actors for these characters. Oh. Okay, never mind, Violet. Totally forgot about her. Yep, he's gonna have to catch these hands. Dude, no, I was just sitting here thinking, well, if they made it like a brawler type char character, because they already made like a dual wielder, who's technically a samurai. I don't care what anyone says, he's technically a samurai. But a brawler would be fantastic. Just him and like bandages on his arms and just like wearing like a hoodie. With his hands in his pockets. And most of his attacks would be either like kicks and punches. Dude, that that actually be pretty damn sick as a character. Cause I can actually think of doing like a lot of designs towards a character like that. And plus, they already have like a lot of other characters that are pretty unique to like the present and the past. The brawlers aren't too out out of the question since you know you got the sword, shields, and stuff like that. All right, birth of a king is that chapter. Alright, anywho, let's keep going. Time to go visit First Crown. Yo, this background looks dope too.
Oh, okay. Wait, so what happened? Don't tell me she flipped out on him. What? Somebody with an actual good point of view? That is shocking. Normally, it would always end up with the female or male hating the person just because of their whole family. <laughs> If only we had more waifus like her. Yep, found you again. You know, Clay just technically does not give a fuck at all at this point. She just gives out all of her plans. She knows she's confident that her plan will succeed. Like, that's just savage. <laughs> but then again, I don't get why villains still tell plans, but you know, we get, get to know ourselves, you know. <laughs> If he doesn't kill him, then First Crown's going to kill him then. So I'm guessing that Blazier is going to get jebated and First Crown's going to freaking kill him. And my pet comes up and nowhere just to join late. <laughs> she probably took off because she was worried.
the Emperor's Throne. Well, last chapter. Let's see what's going on. I don't see anything good coming from this at all. This place looks extremely weird. I mean, you guys are gonna get nuked anyway. Nice try. So what's going on over here? I guess our invisible characters are walking. So this is his palace. Damn. Can we get that fire shield on him? That's what I'm saying. I never see that shield. I mean, I know he gets inv invulnerability, but we never see that amazing shield. Oh, damn. Damn, dude. Nice jutsu. <laughs> now, can we get a Blaze Eater buff? Damn. Oh wow, you're just going to completely avoid the whole question? <laughs> We're going to get one shot at, aren't we? Yep. He's completely invulnerable. shit that's not good I can see this going several different ways wrong
Oh shit, why hold on? God damn, dude, what? I mean, he looks nice with the crown on. Just saying. Um. So is this a future rag? Like a uh, rock upgrade soon? <laughs> Holy shit. This took a real left turn. Hands down. I could, I could probably say this is the best chapter. Well, I guess you could say like section so far. But yeah, this is the best chapter so far. I never suspected them to go like way out their normal designs. Normally it would just be mech getting their arm chopped off and crap. They actually tried something new and hell, I'm I'm with it. So we're gonna have to fight Rock soon. Calling it right now. Why, why is our main character always so useless? Oh, so she's saving him basically. Yo, how? Oh, well, damn. Did how just get nuked? Oh, so that's how people are getting infinity. So basically him acquiring that power basically just opened up infinity for everyone. Nah, okay, that explains a lot. 
Even Kamel. I don't even know what the hell she's doing, but all right. I guess I'll explain that later. Ow, my ears. <laughs> Chapter 11, that fits me. <laughs> Oh, and the seven deadly sins are already showing up. Hold on a second. For fuck's sakes. We're gonna have to kill this damn dude again. Along with Rock, though, I believe. <laughs> You know, at this time, once he finishes that sentence, it's time to get the fuck out of Dodge. Just saying. No, I'm not worried about Rock right now, dude. I'm trying to dip and live. But yeah, Envy and Sloth are supposed to be the first characters. The first sins. Yep, basically. You guys would know who it is if you played through the whole story and actually kept up with it. I'm not going to spoil it. You know I spoiled it a little bit, but you guys will be, be alright. <laughs> I wonder how the other sins are going to come into the chapter though. We should be pretty close to getting the next chapter, to be honest. Wait a minute. Okay, that's the first. They actually called us by our username. Usually it's always Bowden. Bowden this, Bowden that. Yeah, this old piece, some of a bitch. <laughs> kidding, Affinity is something you don't want. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, look at that. The whole gang's together. So the Transcendents are ready to throw hands with the Exalteds. Now that everybody has Affinity, it's just gone straight out the window. I think the crown of death is death crowns. Hey, excuse me? And cliffhanger. Ah, so girl's not out. Cool. <laughs> Alright, uh, we have caught up with the story at that point. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. to lose.